this is the one thing that we need to clean up as far as will. You have to help out your offensive tackle because these guys are on scholarship too and they're great players. If Horsey, which remember Horsey did not know he was going to play until what, a, a day or so ago? So he's playing left tackle on short notice, which is admirable. He sends the defensive end around the horn. He makes him bend all the way around. It's not a direct attack. He makes him come around, okay? Now just watch it. Now his technique is not perfect. He doesn't get his hands on me, get him swat, swatted down. But look how far he made the defense end go around the bend. Now, this is what I want to show you. We'll see it from the other angle better. Look at this alley. All we got to do is climb the pocket and make this guy continue to go around the horn, and then hopefully we either can get a little time, buy some time for a receiver to get open, or then we can run. It's more obvious on the end zone view. See how he went backwards? He made it easy for 97 by going backwards. He just ran into his path. You don't want to run into his path. You want to get out of his path. See it from this angle. See that? There's no pressure in front. Now, if they were pushing the pocket, then I will understand. There's no pushing in the pocket. That is a nice, this is a pretty nice umbrella right here by the O-line. That's a pretty nice umbrella. All we got to do is Will needs to step and climb the pocket. This is something that we need to work on, climb the pocket. Now, I know he's reading over here, but sometimes you got to feel the pressure and deviate. You cannot go out the back side of the pocket. That's dangerous. So you can see he just ran into 97 when he could have easily stepped up in the pocket and still look this way, climb it a little bit, and then maybe someone comes open because, watch, someone potentially comes open. That's a pop potentially pass one-on-one -on -one to Isaiah Cummings. I'm just saying. 